Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, or what's up? Hello, I hope you subscribe, stick around for more. So today's video, we are going back to the basics. We are going back to tanning. That's right. I'm still pale and I still need to find that perfect tan that looks natural, that doesn't transfer onto anything, that I can wear on my wedding day. So I'm basically going to test out all the tans I can possibly do in the next six weeks. And I'm basically gonna try out all the fake hands I possibly can to find the right one so it won't transfer onto my wedding dress and I don't look orange and messy and patchy. That is my goal for you guys. Hopefully we can find something that looks remotely good and natural and brown. Yeah, okay, here we go. So what I have got here is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Natural Bronze Body Lotion. I'm confident in this. So Palmer's Cocoa Butter is literally my favorite thing to put on my skin. It smells good. It's, I don't know, it's just the best thing I've ever put on my skin and it always leaves me feeling super soft. I use the Palmer's cocoa butter on my face or if I have any dry skin and then I also use the normal body lotion on my body <laughs> I thought why not two in one already moisturizer and I could get a tan out of this I have no idea what color this is it says it is for light medium and dark skin all around us so I can only hope that it comes out looking really nice and brown maybe like the color of the bottle it could be like that and that would look good we're gonna find out what it's gonna look like let's do this I have already shaved and I have put a little bit of moisturizer on just to take any dry skin away because my skin is like <laughs> just like super thirsty all the time. I don't really understand gradual tanners very well. Like in moisturizers, I feel like it could be a complete lie. So I, I, I'm not really trusting in it right now, but that's fine. We could learn to love it. I have got a mitt and it doesn't say that I need a mitt. It says just to wash your hands afterwards, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk it. And I don't want orange hands because that's like the first obvious place people can see that you fake tans. I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna use it every day to build and maintain a glowing natural tan. Open. Do we just like pop it? No? No, do no, okay. This way. Okay, so like the number one, um, I, oh god, okay, whoa, that was quite intense. That, that was, oh my god, that was ridiculously stupid. Okay, so it's open. It doesn't stick. We'll find out if it stains floors and carpets too. First impressions? It smells a bit like sun cream, which uh, I don't hate on. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna use like this much. I don't know if that's a lot. We're gonna find out if that's too much. Okay, just gonna... I feel like that might have been too much. I'm just gonna like apply it as if I was applying fake tan and just see how far we get here. It smells strange. It's not like bad. It smells like cocoa butter, but it also smells a bit, um, I don't know, like not natural. It smells like pain. Pain and cocoa butter in one. I'm not too sure how I feel about that, but um, we'll see. Gradually build, oh, within a few days. Oh, okay, it's gonna be a day thing. I thought I was imagining like a few hours with like super brown. I'm just gonna not put it on my face just in case it doesn't look right. Oh my God, like half of that's on the floor. That, that could definitely be insinuated as something else. That's fine. So, oh, don't, don't eat it. Okay, it's not cat friendly. Cats don't wanna eat it. That's a good sign because Olive likes to eat everything and she doesn't wanna eat the tan, some concerns. I feel like I've put an even amount on both arms, but um, We'll find out when um, one arm's brown and one arm is not. I wonder how dark it's gonna get. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave that on to dry for the next, oh, to be fair, it's pretty dry. It's literally instantly drying and my skin is moisturized and it feels very soft already. So that's a good sign. I smell a bit odd. Not great, but maybe that will, this is day one. I'm gonna do it for maybe, I'll do it for the whole week. We'll see what color I turn out. It's like a Russian roulette with tan. And hopefully we'll look in beautiful and bronze and not so smelly and we'll find out, but yes. I'm gonna clean up the um, cream on the floor. So we're back on day two, and we're looking we're looking pretty brown. I'm not gonna lie, like my face is obviously a lot whiter than my, my neck right now. I, I didn't anticipate it going as dark as it did, as quick as it did. I am very pleased with the color. Like it's so brown, like I'm tan, like and it's even. So we're gonna apply our second layer. I need to make sure I get it up, because it's a cream. I think the only, the only bad thing about this, oh my God. The only bad thing about the fact that it's a cream is you can't really see where you've put it. And as much as it's a like grand Jontana, it's not because I'm brown. And um, oh my god, I'm like literally, whoa. I guess the good thing is it's moisturizing. That is a perk to it. It still smells bad and I smelt bad today as well because I thought I'm not gonna shower it off just in case. Oh, I should probably shower today. Because obviously I had my shower and shaved yesterday beforehand. So I thought, oh, we don't have to wash it off. And now I'm smelling it and I can still smell it. 
from yesterday, which um, has some of the most delicious of smells. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Whoa, whoa. Moisture for 24 hours. For best results, apply evenly daily, as or often as needed to achieve the desired level of color. Wash hands after use. Okay, there is literally no instructions. I do, however, think I might end up putting some of this on my face. No, we won't. Do you know what? We won't, because we're gonna leave my face as a comparison. That's what we're gonna do. So we are on day five, I wanna say five. So this is day five, and I don't know why I had to shoot like five fingers, but we did. And this is the color update so far. We are beautiful and bronze. I'm very, feeling, I'm feeling very happy. <laughs> I'm feeling really happy with the color, and I'm like this nice bronzed up bronziness. I don't really know how to describe it any more than it is. Just so you guys are aware, I do have other clothes, but I am just wearing this top for reference. So don't feel like I've just stood here and just not washed or continued to wear the same top seven days straight because that's not what's happening here. We're just going to apply, as we have been for the past five days now, the moisturizer. So we're just gonna apply the same sort of amount as we have been before. Oh my God, I did it again. I feel like every time I film in front of the camera, I manage to like literally get it everywhere. Like it's just, it's just really annoying. So again, I've moisturized all my joints beforehand, I've done my armpits, my elbow, my wrist, and I'm trying not to go on my hands with the tanner as well, just because I don't really particularly like that. Um, I just, I just don't want orange hands. I just decided that I'm gonna have to just avoid them. So again, I'm just gonna apply all that moisturizer to my body, and then hopefully we'll just be this beautiful bronze god in the end of it, so. So as you can see, this is me before my beautiful pasty cell, and I am still super pasty, but that's okay. And then we move along, up. Oh, there she is. She's beautiful, she's bronzed, it's gorgeous. So let's start with the positives and the pros of the gradual tanner. So number one, it was a moisturizer and a gradual tanner. So it was a nice color and you didn't have to spend too much time making sure it was even, which is quite nice. And it left my skin feeling really soft and hydrated literally for 24 hours, which is always a bonus. Another bonus was the color. The color was so nice. It was a nice brown bronze kind of color. It wasn't orangey and it gave that nice soft glow. So it looked like, oh, that's nice glowy soft skin, which is always a pro. Another great thing about this product was the fact that it dried so quickly. So the minute you put it on and the minute you moisturize it into your skin, it was perfect. It literally dried so nicely and it comes out white. So if you do manage to get it on like the floor or somewhere you don't want it, you can literally just wipe it off and it's not gonna dry in that gradual tan of color, which is a good pro if you're an accident prone like myself. The rug where I spilt it, there's no stain, we're fine. Another pro to this was the fact that it was quite affordable. It wasn't an expensive product in comparison to actual tanners and moisturizers having two in one it was pretty reasonably priced so that is a bonus and you do get a lot in that bottle as well so that's gonna last you ages I've still got loads left and I use that this week so and in terms of like moisturizing your skin it's pretty low maintenance you don't have to keep on top of it you could just do it one day one day off one day on just to sort of see that kind of color balance and hopefully not build up too much of a color where it looks orange and fake it looks like nice gradual bronziness which is what we want that's what I want anyway moving on to the con of the product. So it was kind of patchy. It was a bit of a hit and miss thing to do. In terms of applying it, because it was clear, you didn't have a colour guard, which kind of sucked. And I didn't realise how dark it was going to develop, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a slight sort of tint to the skin, but it wasn't. It was quite an intense gradual tanner. So if you missed a part on your wrist or, for example, under my underarm, if I missed a part, you could see there was either a white patch or a dark patch of where it was too much or too little of the product. That wasn't really a, a good feature to the product. Product. I never can't was the smell. I'm sure someone out there is gonna like that smell, but to me, it smelled very biscuity and just not nice. <laughs> it didn't smell like the typical Palmer's cocoa butter moisturizer that you get. It just smelled strange. So probably wouldn't go for it if you're gonna go somewhere on a night out and you just wanna smell good. You're not gonna smell good, you're gonna smell weird. So there you go. And that smell did last literally 24 hours, which is why I missed a day to see if it would fade and it did. But then you obviously had to apply it again the next day, so. I don't know. It's up to you. That's really a personal preference. Another con which I found kind of annoying was the fact that it does actually transfer onto things. So I wore like my big bed sheet nighty to bed and I just wanted to see if it would like transfer onto anything. It didn't transfer onto my sheets, but it did transfer onto my nightgown, which isn't really what you want. If you're gonna wear something, I mean, I'm going for my dress fitting today and I'm really hoping that it's not gonna transfer onto my wedding dress. I mean, if it does, that's just really not what we're gonna wear to the wedding. If not, then it's fine. 
the colour is great, but the fact that it transfers is probably a big turn off for me, and I'm, I imagine it's a bit of a turn off to everybody else too. So overall summary, I would probably give it three out of five. Yeah, it's good, it's affordable, it's a moisturiser, and it's a gradual tanner, and it's quite low maintenance, but at the same time it does transfer and it does smell strange. So if you can get past those things, it's definitely for you. I guess I'm a bit of a bit of a tan connoisseur. You just want to find that right product that suits you and your lifestyle, so it's completely up to you what you go for. And that is it. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, comment down below what your favourite part was, and would you try this tan out? Love to see you, bye!